always wondered how all these uh, automatic uh, sliding doors in your supermarkets work. Well, that's what we're gonna see in, in today's video. Just by using PAR sensor, we can actually create this exact same thing that you actually see in your supermarkets. So let's get okay, started. Okay guys, this is the hardware model. So let's give some motion and see whether the door is opening or not. Yeah, so as I give motion, you can see the door is opening up and it closes after waiting for 3 to 4 seconds. So interesting, right? It looks as if, uh, you know, going entering a supermarket, right? So let's, uh, you can also build it on your, at your home. So let's get started about the coding. So as you can see, I didn't give any motion for a long time. It didn't do anything. So if I, suppose I give my hand, you can see it is directing as a motion. Okay guys, now let's just uh, use this Tinkercad website and uh, before actually doing the hardware project, it's always good to use a simulation. So this is the circuit, I'll teach you the code and all the, also the circuit that, uh, connection that has to be made. But uh, before watching this video, you can also, uh, I give a link in the description, you can see the video about a smart door build, which actually uses a PAR sensor. Uh, in that, I'll, I would have given much more explanation about uh, why we use a PAR sensor than an IR sensor. So I highly recommend it to watch it before watching this video okay now let's just started with the connections you can see that this is the PAR sensor and then uh, it just have three uh, pins one is the power pin and another is the ground pin then the signal pin which is being connected to the fourth pin over here you can connect wherever you want just have to change in the code then the server motor connection is also very simple you have the your ground and the, you know the power and the ground uh, wires and then the signal wires that's it uh, in order to give you the angle in which it has to work that's all so you can see this connection is very simple okay so before getting into the code uh, have to uh, you might have a doubt that uh, this is how whether in supermarkets you have uh, PA sensor well yeah but uh, it, it will not be in, in, in front of the door it will be, be you know it's like uh, under the door so that uh, as you go near it only the door will open it up Okay, and it uh, many uh, supermarkets also use something called as uh, infrared camera. So in that camera, it will actually detect uh, images for you know every 10 seconds, and it will be sending to the sensor, and then sensor will read if there is any change between the first shot uh, uh, image and the second shot image, and if there is suppose there is change in the motion in the preferred area, and you can see the server motors working it up. So hope you have understood that. Okay, now let's see the coding part. So the code is very simple guys, uh, if you have seen the video that I already said, it will be very easy to understand or else I will explain it now. So one of the main important library or you have to include is the server.h and I have, I have like two server motors so I am uh, declaring two servers. This is for the attaching pins and this is writing pins where in first position is nothing but the zero one, okay? Because I don't want any movement in the uh, uh, server motors. These are all the spin values. I have connected the server and second pin, server 2 and the third pin and the PR sensor and the fourth pin. Okay, so in the loop part over here, this is the main thing for the PAR. You are just reading the PAR, you know, uh, uh, digital read from the, uh, you know, the PAR sensor and then give, uh, using it in the PR value. If it is suppose high, I am going to obviously open it. So I have declared a, you know, the function called servers open. I show it in the end of the video. And then, uh, I have also included something called as PAR state which is like in the beginning you can see it, it is going to be low right so when the value is high the state is going to be low in that case just print it as motion detector it is just an external thing that you have to do in order to make sure the code is working uh, fine then uh, you know that as the motion is detected you can change the state to the high position and it is exactly opposite over here and in the else part if the PAR value is less you can see I have given the servers close function that's all. So now let's get into what the servers open and servers close. You can see it's very simple. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, already declared the variable over here uh, int position, which is zero. Uh, so it's gonna get incremented to 180 with, it, you know, plus 10. So it's gonna go from 0, 10, 20, 30, like that to 180. And it's gonna give it in the uh, server part. So the write function is the most important function of a server. So as you can write it, uh, the position value, it's gonna set it up. And the close is exactly the same. You can you can see that the, now the position will be like 180, right? So after 180, you have to decrease it to, to zero. I'm increasing it by 10 uh, values. So from 180, 170, 160, like that, the value decreases and gets to the zero. So as you can see, it opens and closes. So let's simulate and see the results. So I've started the simulation. 
so yeah so if i click the so i mean pa sensor if i change the motion you can see that the servos are uh, opening and then after some time it just closes out so you can also increase the delay time so that uh, it waits for some time and then closes it out uh, uh, that's the difference you can can make as you can see i would have made it in the uh, hardware part so guys i hope you have understood uh, the coding part now let's see how i made this model i took a box and then cut the two uh, parts for the door and you can see i connected uh, the two servos over there and connected with the wire so that it moves and then the connections are exactly the same you can just uh, use the connection i'll be providing images and all those stuff you can also see from the video so and you can i powered the arduino with the usb cable you can also use a 9 volt battery to make it more compact so hope you have understood guys and i have also made a video on for not just for automatic door also a door with security lock so if i provide security only like any password the door will open you can also watch that video and learn how to use an lcd screen a keypad and all those stuff thank you guys thanks for watching